This YCN segment is brought to you by Lake Sunapee Visiting Nurse Association and Hospice. This game was a first half contest as the hosting Cougars seemed to have trouble moving the ball early on with a shaky first drive. But Kearsarge's defense stepped up like they have all year long when junior Emerson Tyler picked off Mascoma's quarterback Hawk Sean. The Cougars seemed to settle in after a number of plays as Tyler soon rushed 30 yards for the game's first points. Quarterback Jack Jolla then helped move his team down the field in the second quarter as Kearsarge's big senior running back Logan Seaholm punched in another score to put the home team up 14 to nothing at the break. In the middle of the third quarter, Seaholm rushed for a huge 45-yard touchdown as Kearsarge started to run away with the game. They soon scored again when Jolla threw to Brody Mulligan to push their lead to four scores. And just a few minutes later, senior captain Ryan Ellis scored his first touchdown of his high school career with a one yard rush. And toward the middle of the fourth quarter, the Cougars punched in one more score with Brody Messer running for five yards. As the home fans and seniors went home happy with a final score of Kearsarge 41, Mascoma Valley 0. The Royals played a very solid first half, one of the best all season. But Kearsarge wasn't about to squander this important win. Seaholm finished with two touchdowns, and the Cougars defense was strong, recording their third shutout of the season. Despite senior captain and the team leader in tackles Noah Tucker being out of the game with an injury. After the final whistle, we caught up with Seaholm, Jala, and Tyler to get their takes on the win. So right off the bat, we just wanted to come out, be physical, uh, really not let these guys into the game at all. I really owe a lot of credit to the O-line tonight. Uh, really big blocks, great blocking out there. Defense, definitely again credit to the D-line. A lot of stunt calls, uh, able to get in the backfield pressure, get a couple sacks on the QB, focused a lot on coverage uh, during the week. Winning this game tonight definitely gives us, you know, the drive to come out, uh, win next week, hopefully make a stick, make a run into the playoffs, and uh, it means a lot. Playing the last night under the lights at home with the fans, it, it means a lot. Next week, we got to be sure and uh, stay physical, stay at it, get off the ball well, and uh, just continue to, to play the way we play. Well, in the first half, we uh, started a little slow, and then uh, we came back in the second half, gave some more effort, and then uh, it just all came down to effort and uh, how we played and our execution in the game. Uh, it came down to coaches just preparing us in practice this week and uh, just everyone reading their keys, doing their job. Not trying to do someone else's job. Well, we came back from last week, hard loss to Monadnock, and this week we just wanted to bounce back and make it better. Zach going 51, Logan Seaholm 15, Emerson Tyler 11, Gage Fleming 62, and pretty much everyone on the team. We all executed, did our job. I think we need to come out with the same fire that we had in the second half. Can't start off slow like we did today, and uh, just execute, do our job, and hopefully come out with a win. So our team really we came out just kind of slow in the first quarter, but we definitely pushed it out, hustled, and everything we could do. Played one of our better games and we practiced their plays. We really hustled, got off the ball. I think Logan had a lot of good runs. Our line in general was really busting their butts off and quarterback was doing well. Uh, going into next week, we need to just in practice every play, just work our asses off and everything we can to really focus and be ready for the next game, make it to the playoffs. It's definitely a good thing to win on senior night, really brings the uh, team together, makes them happy. We got our senior Ryan for a touchdown today, first one. Kearsarge improved to four and three while Mascoma Valley fell to one and six. The Royals will miss the upcoming playoffs while Kearsarge can just sneak in and extend their season if they win next week against a tough Inner Lakes team. Together on three. One, two, three, together! together.